Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Trauma Team. So glad you decided to join me again today. We are coming back to to learn how to do forensics, because last time last time was our warm-up course, but this time this time we're gonna know what to do, I'm sure. And it's all gonna make sense and it's gonna it's gonna be great. So let's get started with the next mission. down, little guy. I said I'd leave in ten minutes. It's only been seven. Yes, but headquarters is telling me to hurry. All right, I'll be right there. Goodbye. Oh, uh, doctor, wait. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Probably was important, but nope, we're not going to listen. You shouldn't be allowed to. Hi. Do you need something? Kitty doesn't seem well. Can you fix her, please? A cat? Why are you asking me? Because... Because you're a doctor, miss. I... Uh, hand it over. Looks like she swallowed something. She'll be fine. Really? It's common for cats to swallow foreign objects. Still, wait here for a moment. Okay. Thank you, miss. <sighs> hmm. Thanks, huh? Right. So, what are we doing with this cat? <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. Okay, whatever. Sorry I'm late. Is everything ready? <sighs> the Dr. Kimishima, you're really late. You... Huh? What are you looking at? Oh, uh... What happened to your hands? A cat did it. A cat? I never figured you for a cat person. Be quiet. I thought you were in a rush here. Are we ready? Uh -huh. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I'll get ready now. Oh boy. Oh boy, we are motoring ringing again. Oh boy, what are we going to learn today? I wasn't really killed. Please listen to me, evil phone. Oh, is this gonna be a child? Oh, this is gonna be worse, isn't it? Our first bit of evidence here. Evil phone call that 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 that, that says see. it hurts. So you were cut short too. Alright. I'll reel in the thread of truth. And little guy's just saying, do, do you really have to do that before each time? Explain the situation to me one more time, little guy. Right, right. Human bones found at the riverbed. Reported by homeless man walking his dog. Bones are covered by police. So we just know it's female and we have to figure out what's going on. Oh, this sounds like it's going to be bad. Kids and only bones? Ugh. <laughs> That sounds bad. A skeletonized corpse was found in a river 50 kilometers out of the city. We don't know who it is, but evidence suggests it's female. A homeless man out walking his dog reported finding it. The preliminary cause of death is being ruled as a drowning. Being a skeleton is also a cause of death. Like you said, the body is completely skeletonized. We won't be able to ID her until we reform her skeleton. 
I also have records from the questioning of the body's finder. Huh, I'm impressed. For you, that's a brilliant move. Please, that's not much of a compliment. I'll leave the recorder here. Check it when you need to. Good. Let's begin. Show me how your life's thread was severed. The truth can never truly die. I am quite interested in this one, actually. This one... This one's all... This one seems more interesting than the last one, just based upon the initial... The initial bit I've been shown here. The corpse is in the evidence room, and the recorder is the testimony of the man who found the body. Let's begin the autopsy. Sure. We'll start with that first. Yes, I can hear you. Why are you calling for me on the intercom? Oh, uh, well, it's about the corpse. Huh. I do have the corpse here. In a bag. Is this some kind of joke? Oh, sorry. That was the most reliable way to get it to you. <laughs> the skeleton had fallen apart, so I had them transported like this. Huh. I see. So what am I supposed to do with it? Please work on putting it back together. I'll start with the body. So can you please start restoring the skull, Doctor? All right, I'll take care of that. Thank you. Let me know when you start on it. When you do, I'll come pick up the rest. Okay, select the body bag to reconstruct the skull. Uh, can we look at the effects first? Anything to note? Looks like there's some sort of cut here. Okay, apparently that's not an ordinary. They're very dirty, but I would imagine that. Oh, were they run over by a car? These are tire marks. So was the victim run over by a car? Or their clothing, no, perhaps. That one or the make other. Sense, though, because the victim was. It was near a river. Why is that? Why is that suspicious? You. You can't have cars That's near right. a river? I don't the get that. Was found at a river. There may be some exceptions, but you usually don't find cars driving in the Well, river. I mean, I mean, I, I, I get that. Please. <laughs> Please. I get that, but... I wouldn't say it's unusual to have a car drive down to a river for some reason, like, in a recreation, and they just happen to not notice the clothing if, it, if they didn't see the, the skeleton with it. It might just look like some clothing someone left out there and they wouldn't give it a second thought. I don't know. There's definitely a hole down here, but apparently that's not important. At least not yet. And we're assuming that it's a woman. The clothing obviously suggests that, but... One thing is certain. Well, I guess maybe the holes are just due to the wear from outside, but uh, one thing is certain that it could definitely been staged from what we saw last time anyway uh, what about the holes okay I guess the holes are just part of the normal wear and tear there's an awful lot of blood on the front though this it's a blood stain however it doesn't appear to have originated from a hemorrhaging injury that's because uh, let's see <laughs> that's not blood at all I'm pretty sure it's blood Not enough blood? That was ah. There's too much blood. Or there's no apparent damage. Ah, there's no apparent damage. Wow. Okay. I thought that was incorrect. That's why I didn't choose it yes. first. If this blood is from external injuries, then the clothing would be damaged as well. Are you sure about that? She's got a lot of open space up here. However, the clothes have no such marks. Could she have been hemorrhaging from some other reason? She got a massive nosebleed. There's some sort of jewel this here. Is that is important? The necklace the victim was wearing. Is this stone agate? It's shattered in half. Ah, maybe they. Yeah, maybe they got. It, it yeah, maybe it got struck by victims. something. In any case, this is unusual for a corpse that supposedly drowned in the river. Yeah, it's. It does seem unusual. I mean, I guess maybe on the way down they could have hit something, but... 
there's a low chance of that. Maybe something we should investigate if foul play there, of course, as we already were kind of guessing at. All right, let's see what we can do with the skull. Yep. Grab with A and B and release in the right place. Okay, we can't rotate the pieces, so... I suppose that's something to keep in mind. Let's start with some easy pieces first, shall we? Oh, they don't penalize you? Thank goodness, that'll help out. Yeah, those are some easy pieces to start with. And it looks like this is the top of the skull, these bits up here. There we go. There we go. So if it's been kind of smushed in like this, this makes me think like something really hard, like a sledgehammer hit her in the head. Just as a possibility. Completed reconstructing the front. I'll move on to the side. Okay. I see. I feel like I'm making a map here. Like there's a state and there's another state. Not too difficult, especially because they're not penalizing us. Now we gotta do the back section. Okay, this is probably gonna be a bit more difficult just through the lack of distinguishing features. But, like I always do on puzzles, working on the edges, although there's not really much about edges here, really does help you figure out the rest of the puzzle easily enough. I used to be really good at puzzles, actually. Back when I, you know, back when I was younger, I used to do puzzles a lot, actually. And I was pretty darn good at them, actually. Not really for any other reason than I just knew about the edge thing, and I was able to kind of figure out the shapes pretty well. Of course, this is easy mode right here. I mean, these things are, these things are, like, each piece is very peculiar -y. peculiar it's very oddly shaped, let's just say that. So it kind of makes sense where they fit. <sighs> it's done. Let's take a look. Hmm. Looking at this skull, I placed the victim's age in the early 20s. That's rather young. The bone structure suggests a high probability that the victim is female. Well, that's a clue right there. I might find something out if I have the FBI analyze it in detail. That would be smart. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going over there, Dr. Kimishima? I'm done with the body here. Great timing. I just finished myself. All right, I'll put the skull back with the rest of the skeleton. Once that's done, let's begin investigating the corpse. Okay, corpse can now be examined. Well, let's do so. See, anything to note in particular? Well, there was that weird cut down here that for some reason it wouldn't let me notice, but there is a shattered bone yes. down here to go with that. The femurs of both legs have been fractured. Hmm. That's interesting. The femur is the hardest bone in the human body. It would have taken a massive amount of power to break both of them at once. Possibly the uh the murderer, I'm assuming. I'm I'm just gonna go with murderer, just because. That little bit that we had at the end definitely makes... Or that little bit that we had at the beginning definitely makes it seem like murder, but... They perhaps didn't want her to run away, or were trying to keep her from being able to run, so they broke her legs. I also have a broken pinky, I think. The little finger appears to be fractured here. Another case what of the broken the finger. This bone to break? Possibly the same thing, like maybe she was trying to defend her legs and, you know, of course that broke. Of course, there'd probably be more damage with something like that, but it's an idea. We got a lot of dirt over here, I think, or something. The bones discolored? No, I mean, I might... I've never seen anything like this Yeah, 
I'll need a more detailed look at it. I mean, I might be a trained forensics expert, but I'd have to say, uh, maybe a little bit of extra analysis could help us analyze that discolored bone, because I totally know what's going on. Alright, let's see what we can do now back at the office. Okay, yeah, we should in investigate the testimony, gather all our clues, and then, uh... And then we can keep going. John Doe. The nerve of this guy. All this juicy fat drips out when you take a bite. Tasty. Sammy, just a dog. He's my best friend in the whole world. <laughs> Typical pet fanatic thinks his dog is practically human. She's. <laughs> I think she's getting really mad at this guy right now. Oh, I'd love to know. It's all thanks to Sam, you know? <laughs> yeah. Wish Sam would run along and find whoever's behind this case first, too. Yeah. See, we were walking down by the river when old Sam, he suddenly runs off. So the dog found the corpse. To be expected, I suppose. He comes back with a bone in his mouth. I, I took a better look and damn, if it ain't the lady's arm. Must have been a surprise to see a dog come back with a human bone in his mouth. Though... It is a little bit curious that he isn't more concerned about the fact that he came back with a bone. But maybe he actually was and this is just more of a... Relaxed... Afterthought of the event. Scared the hell out of me, you know? So I... Yep. I went and called the cops. Kind of making light of it at the at right now. Filing a police report is your duty, not just something to do as a favor. Uh, I ain't going near no dead body. That's just creepy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't see how everyone gets so scared of dead bodies. We all turn into one someday. Oh, hey. If, if she was missing, was there any reward for uh, finding her? No matter... I guess that's true. No matter who it is, there's always cases like that. What a nut job, I've had enough of them. Yeah, there was nothing in here useful. That was completely well, that, unuseful. That man who found the corpse might be telling us one hell of a lie. Oh, really? What do you mean? How so? In his testimony, he claims that he never saw the corpse, correct? Yes. Yet there is something he said that he couldn't have known unless he had seen the corpse previously. Um, there was? Wait, what was it? Ugh. <sighs> Do I really have to point it out to you? Yes, please. <laughs> Was it the bone? Or did he did he call her a she or something like that? Maybe? I don't know. A lady's oh. arm. He said that his dog had brought back an arm bone. He said a lady's arm. Now, if he hadn't, like, let's just give him the benefit of the doubt and say that that he saw the girl's clothing and assumed it was a lady. He was then lying if he said he hadn't seen the corpse if he knew it was a lady. Because I doubt he's a bones expert and knows how to judge a gender just based off of a bone. I highly doubt that. So he's either he's either lying about not seeing the body or he's lying even possibly bigger in that he knows it was a female, which you couldn't have just gotten off of the bone. Even for a forensic scientist, it would be difficult to determine the sex from just that. Exactly. That means that the man who found the corpse is well, lying. Let's see, he had supernatural powers. It wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me in this game world. Smelled her perfume, knew the victim before death, saw the corpse himself. This is iffy, isn't it? I'm gonna say saw the corpse himself, because that one seems to be a bit more all-encompassing, but the second one I guess was kind of it too. That's right. He must have seen the corpse in person. 
He then made an assumption of the corpse's gender based on the remaining articles of clothing. Exactly. That's probably what happened. Not quite telling us the whole truth here. Alright, let's see what we can sort. Uh, can you analyze these things for me? These bones? I suppose you're right. There's no particular need to have it analyzed right now. Okay, apparently not. What about hey, the skeleton? Guy, can you do me a favor and get a bone analysis? Yes, of course. Is it to identify the body? Mm-hmm, that's right. Start with dental records. I'll get right on that. I'll let you know when the results come in. Yes, please do. All right, then. All right, what else? Uh, what about the legs? Is that something we need to get identified? Hmm. Hey, little guy. I'd like to get yeah, your opinion what about on that? something. I mean, I'm obviously a forensics expert, so I don't need your help, little guy, but, you know, if you'd like to throw me a bone, <laughs> I'll get it, get it. <laughs> Dead people jokes. Me? Oh, I, I didn't think you'd ever ask me to... Enough chit-chat. I'm transferring some data over to you. Oh, okay. What is this? Uh, can you wait a moment? I'll compare it with the database here. It's as I thought. No matches. I've never seen this before. Not even at the place I used to work. Huh. So does that mean you don't know the first thing about it? Uh, I'm sorry, but that's correct. Fine. At least I know now that there isn't any information. Hmm. Interesting. That this hasn't... Yeah, this hasn't come up before. This might have something to do with guilt again. Just like last time. Alright, little guy. Let's look at the information in detail. Sure, but why would he lie? Because he's wanting to hide something, obviously. Here's one possible explanation. He didn't want the authorities to know that he had been at the scene. And some people do just get paranoid, but... A lot of times, more often than not, they're trying to cover but themselves. it's not a crime to discover a dead body. Yeah, but he still might be nervous. Like, what if he has an existing record, possibly? Why would he try to hide that? The most likely reason why he didn't want it to be known is... See, he tampered with the scene, possibly, maybe he found some jewelry there and he stole it. It's definitely possible. And for someone like this, that seems actually highly likely. But in all honesty, he just doesn't want to have the police look into him more. Indeed, because he tampered with the scene. It's likely that he did something that would get him in trouble if it was discovered. Oh, I see. That would explain his behavior. The question is, what did he do? Little guy, go interrogate him once more. Get the stick out if you have to. Trust me, I'll make sure he doesn't hold anything back from me this time. <laughs> Alright, anything else we can combine together? Possibly these two? No. Uh, what about the finger with the legs? I doubt any, anything else is going to work together. Let's back out and see if he's got that interview ready yet. Oh, Dr. Kimishima, good timing. There's something I need to tell you. Hmm? I'm listening. The team that collected the corpse has turned in an investigation report. It seems that a type of tick was found in the ground where the corpse is located. And, and what does that have Ticks? to do with this? Yes, depending on the season and environment, various insects are attracted to corpses. They normally leave once the body's been reduced to the bone. But some ticks burrow underground and remain there for a while afterwards. Hmm, true. They'll leave eventually as well, but perhaps the ticks could tell us something. Hmm, that's intriguing. Insects in the ground are around, around where the body tell us. The weights, no, no weight. Direct cause of death, no. Where the victim died. Highly likely, I think. And how long it had been there. I don't think they can directly tell us that. Ah, oh, really? Okay, how long it's been there. Dang it, I'm kind of mad about that. Right. We could use the ticks to determine how long the corpse had been there. Amazing, Doctor. I didn't think you'd know about that. Mm -hmm. Of course. So, was a time of death calculated? Yes, it seems to have only been about a month ago. That's not too long, biologically speaking. A month? 
true. That is yeah, the wow. corpse to have been skeletonized. Unless there's extremely strange circumstances, that's really right. fast. Thank you, little guy. You'd still expect to find, you know, I mean, kind of gross and all, but you'd still expect to find half-rotted person there. Uh, let's see. Can we use the time since death with anything else here? No, I can't do anything with that. Do we have the... Do we have the new recording available yet? No, it doesn't appear so. Where are we supposed to be going now? A little bit confused as of yet. Oh, hey, look, I, I totally forgot to scroll over sideways. We have the tire marks and clothing in the broken legs. The fractures on both legs match the locations of the tire marks left on the clothing. That means these fractures were... Probably, yeah, the legs are run over. That's right. These fractures in the legs appeared when she was run over by a car. How then did these marks appear on a corpse found in the river? This is a new mystery. Interesting. That's all the information we can obtain from the corpse and other articles up to this point. Ah, oh, cool, I got it all. So, Dr. Kimishima, is the cause of death drowning after all? I'd probably say no. <laughs> There's a good possibility that the cause of death was something else. The damage to the skeleton is too severe for drowning to have been the cause. Her skull itself was... It looked like it was smashed in. Oop, nope, not the... The skull was shining. Yes, it was completely shattered. Even if animals had damaged the bones, they wouldn't have done that. Her skull was shattered by an extremely strong impact of some sort. A strong impact to the head. That isn't consistent with a drowning. Exactly. There's more to it than that, though. During the autopsy, the corpse's femurs were... They, uh, they were both broken. Right. The femur is supposed to be the most durable bone in the human skeletal system. However, both her femurs were completely fractured. This also suggests that some kind of powerful impact had occurred. We're assuming they got run over at this point. Also in the area where the corpse had been found. The water level was low, and there are no waterfalls, rapids, or records of floods. So we can probably rule out that she got damaged possibly going down There's the river. Nothing in the river itself that would cause such damage to the corpse. Exactly, so it's gotta be it's gotta have been done. Yes, but that's all we know for now. By human it's hands. It's risky for us to assume anything beyond that. Little guy, get approval from HQ. I'm heading out to the actual location. Wait, are you going down to the river? No. She didn't die in the river. The evidence we have suggests that the actual place of death was... Where? There's evidence of an auto accident on the corpse. Probably on the road then, right? Ugh. What do you mean? Yeah, we know she died. That's where they found the corpse, but... Right. This location yeah, okay, the maybe I clicked the wrong spot. Understood. I just meant the road in general, but I guess that's probably yes, a better spot. Do so. Now, let's head out. 